I'm Jaden. I'm a senior at UWL and I'm currently a public and community health major. My friend ended up going to get tested, so I wasn't even planning on it. I didn't really have any symptoms. And so I went and got tested after she found out she was positive. And then I ended up being positive, but I really only had a headache. So I don't think I would have gone had it not been for her. I just had to like immediately quarantine in my bedroom. My two roommates were fortunate enough to not have it, but splitting up our apartment was kind of difficult. I'd have to like spray down the bathroom with bleach and like the sink and everything. Like every time I went to the bathroom or every time I went to like wash my hands or brush my teeth. So it was like pretty strenuous. And then my roommates kind of stayed in their rooms because they obviously didn't want to get it. So I really just had no one to talk to. And I didn't think it'd be so bad like being in my room, but it was actually like pretty awful. After the first couple of days, it's just like, and it's just really sad and depressing. And I just like look outside and you can't do anything. So it did help a lot that my mom came, but yeah, it did take like quite a toll on my mental health, just not being able to do anything or talk to people. It's really important to wash your hands and wear a mask and you might as well do everything you can do to not have to be isolated for 14 days and feel sick. And I didn't get my smell or taste back for like a month after quarantine. So that was really scary. They told me I'd get it back, but not having it for so long, I was really nervous it was never gonna come back. I know quite a few people that within my like public health major that have been taking like a lot of precautions and We've been, we've known about this like since before it got really big. So I feel like even those of us that are like taking precautions, some of us have still gotten it just due to the fact that you have to go to your job or you have to go to the grocery store. And I think that knowing that people that are wearing their masks and are really trying to prevent the spread are still getting it. I think it just kind of shows that you can do so much, but if people around you aren't following the same precautions, then can get COVID.